So here we are in Milton Keynes, the new city in North Bucks, built from the 1970s onwards. Architect designed Greenfield site city, now housing about a quarter of a million people. Very energy intensive, the housing is designed to, at the top end of the UK energy indices. Even so, uses, like any city, a large amount of energy. As you can see, it's a city built to drive through. Very scattered public transport. We rely entirely on, almost entirely on, cars for transportation. But it's still one of the more attractive, modern and energy efficient cities in the country. So perhaps it's not surprising that uh, it's decided to host one of the first wind farms near a city in the UK. It's the, the wind farms a, f a few miles outside of the city centre, which should supply power on the grid to the city. So we're just coming out of Milton Keynes to the northwest of the city, heading towards the rural town called Olney. The wind farms in between Olney and a village called Emberton. The wind turbines came along this road here in groups of three. They're large machines. When the towers are put together it's 50 meters tall and then another blade tip on top of that. So far there's six of the seven machines in place. So they widen the road with temporary extra verges to allow the big low loaders to bring the parts in. Here we are at the wind farm site. As you can see, six of the machines already been erected, blades put on top of the towers, but they're not turning at the moment, they're locked off, so we can't actually see them moving. To get it to the stage you can see now, a huge crane was used to assemble the tower and then lift the nacelle unit up to the top. The wind farm will generate enough power for, what, seven turbines, 7,000 households worth of electricity in, in the region, for, on average, uh, at full power, running at 70% of the time at some power, actually getting about 30% of the actual rated power of the machines out on average over the year. But that means three quarters of the time they should be turning. That'll make money for the company that's installed them, of course, but it'll also deliver power, which mostly be used locally because that's the way the power grid works. And of course, when there isn't any power coming from them, that'll be chopped up with power from elsewhere on the national grid. So you're not exactly reliant on your local wind turbines. This is the typical wind farm being built around the country. There are more than 4,000 megawatts worth of wind turbines at the moment in the UK. Increasingly offshore, uh, 1,000 megawatts now offshore. But the on-land wind turbines are cheaper to build, it's easier to install, and you don't have to build long connections under sea back to land to deliver the power. The UK is falling behind a little bit on its uh, renewable programme. We have nowhere near as many wind turbines on land as countries like Germany, Denmark, Spain, France even. But we're doing quite well offshore Altogether, the next 10 years or so, we might get about uh, anything up to 20% or more of our electricity from onshore and offshore wind. So it's going to be a major part of our energy system. If you want to read more about this stuff, have a look at the newsletter I produce called Renew, which gives you every other month updates on what's happening around the UK and elsewhere in the country. We're going to come back later in the year when the whole thing's running, partly to also to ask local people how they feel. There's been some 
rumbles of discontent about the uh, disruption during installation, as you'd expect. Uh, but once that's all gone away and the, all the minor damage that's been done is made good, one imagines that the local community will be uh, in a better position to decide whether they like these things or not. Most studies in the past have shown that while there had been some opposition before projects were installed, mainly based on rumours about what the things might look like and how noisy they might be and things like that. Once they're installed and people find, for example, you can't hear them at all, uh, and they perhaps look better on the horizon than people thought, in most places, most people have come around to saying, this is very nice, and some of them become quite proud. In some cases, uh, they become a cherished part of the community. People uh, show visitors them as a local interest point. The company putting this particular wind farm up is, as usual, as most companies have donated some money into local community support projects. Uh, that helps to soften the blow a bit. But I think most people will also find themselves uh, coming up here to look at them regularly. We should certainly be back to see how they look in a few months' time.